Ready enough. You guys don't need me around anymore. I'm going over and see my tomato. Lucky said when the cement hardened, you can drop this one off at 116th Street, East River. That's a neighborhood Bugsy lived in. So what are you going to do? Lucky sentimental. In the 1920s, one recipe for taking care of rival gangsters or uncooperative business associates was to dose well with lead, pack in a cement overcoat, and soak in chilled brine until forgotten. This was the treatment that Johnny Lucky gave one Bugs Moline. We knew he did it, and I spent an awful lot of hours trying to prove it. Johnny Lucky didn't get his name for nothing. Born John Lucernus, Athens, Greece. Came over here when he was 12 years old. At 15, he was picking up numbers. Then he graduated to bootlegging and pushed narcotics. He wound up as top man in one of the most vicious gangs in the city of New York. Arrests, 34. Convictions, one. We finally got our hooks into Lucky through a young, ambitious kid named Eddie Safranic. Eddie was real class, with a capital K. Especially was rolling drunks and mal-buzzing old ladies. Oh, he also held down a job as a night watchman, because he gave him a lot of opportunities to make a fast, dishonest buck. My name is Barney Ruditsky. For 20 years, police department, city of New York. Shifts like an old lady. Next time, get us a truck with some guts. Hey, you talked to Johnny Lucky about me like I asked you? Now, look, kid, why don't you stick to just what you're doing, huh? Then I'll go talk to him myself. He's a busy man, kid. He'll see me. Look, I don't want to be no crumb all my life. Sneaking you guys trucks and cars so you can go out and do jobs and get fat. I want it to the outfit with a cut. Understand? You want it straight, kid? What do you mean? I talked to Johnny Lucky like you said. Yeah, so? He said you ain't got enough brains for the Boy Scouts. I'll go see Lucky myself. Stay away, kid. Look, and I seen enough. So what? You want me to forget what I seen? Take me to Lucky. You got a good memory, kid? Yeah, I got a good memory. What he needs is a special memory course. <laughs> we'll learn you to forget. No way! What? what is that? Arnie! Arnie, don't let him do it, Arnie! Ma! No, no! No, don't do it! Oh, Arnie! Arnie, don't let him do it, Arnie! Ma! No, no! No, don't do it! Oh. Sweetheart, how's my baby today? Oh, Ma, will you stop sniveling like I'm a two-year-old or something? Your eyes look almost like new. How's your head, baby? Still buzzing? Oh, Ma, for crying out loud, will you? You ain't got no idea how I've been suffering, Eddie. Two whole weeks now, I ain't had a full night's sleep. Yeah, I, I get the headache and you can't sleep. Eddie, honey, just kills me. Yeah, Ma, I know. It hurts you more than it hurts me. So why don't you go home and get a good night's sleep already? Where's that candy I brought you yesterday? You give it to the nurse. I buy a special candy at Shrafts, and you give it to that no-good nurse. What's she done for you? I don't want you giving nothing more to that... How often do you have to be told I don't want you bothering my boy? 
Now look, your boys just had a two weeks vacation on a taxpayer's money. A little conversation isn't gonna hurt Precious. You got no right to talk to me like Don't that. talk to me about my rights. Now you sit down here and shut your mouth like a lady or I'm have to forget I'm a gentleman. How you feeling, boy? Oh, you're very smart, Carper. Here I am, every inch of me, worked over with a lead pipe, and you ask me a bright question, like, how am I feeling? How do you think I'm supposed to feel? Like, like, uh, doing a Charleston or something? You look great. But with those colors, I'd suggest the black bottom. <laughs> You're very funny, Mr. Radinsky, very funny. <laughs> Doctor tells me you're getting out tomorrow. So what? So how about answering a few questions? I bet you don't make it from Bellevue to the corner of First Avenue before those guys work you over again. And this time, they won't just dent your skull, they'll crack it for good. Wouldn't surprise me none if it was a copper who's done it in the first place. Did you say something? So how about a kid, hmm? There's a chance for you to make a real name for yourself, you know? Why don't you identify him for us? Look, you could be a hero, newspapers, the whole route. What, what do you think, I'm a green one or something? I ain't telling you coppers nothing. All right, have it your way. You walk out of here and Johnny Lucky will hang a cement overcoat on you. Then if you even want it, open your mouth to talk, you swallow half the East River. Johnny Lucky. You're so smart. You always saying Johnny Lucky. I'm the one who takes the beating you no more than I do. You're not even there, you know. What makes you so smart, copper? You got a slamming with a lead pipe, didn't you? It's Johnny Lucky's trademark. Johnny Lucky's trademark? Sure. Now you just sign a statement, we'll put Johnny and his boys away where they can't hurt you anymore. Like I say, kid, you'll be a big man. Nah, I ain't signing nothing. If that lead pipe didn't knock any sense in the air, I don't see how I can. So long, punk. See you in the East River. Goodbye, little mother. Take care of Junior. Oh, my poor baby. The way they treat you. Oh, for crying out loud, Ma, leave me alone, will you? Music, that's what you need. Like Guy Lombardo. I'll make you relax. I only want you should relax, Eddie. I'm for crying out loud, Ma. You gotta think about your mama a little. You can't go out your first night home. You ain't well yet. You need nourishment. You want I should pick you some warm milk, Eddie? Tea, milk, tapioca, oatmeal. Ma, you know what I need? Hey, Eddie, open the door, baby. It's flooring. That's what I need. Hey, 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 hey baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> what do you know for sure? Yeah. Oh. Hey, you're so thin. You're all bones. Uh, you miss me, Flurry? I've been shriveling up. Shriveling up? <laughs> I should have a bank account so shriveled. Leave him alone, Flurry. He ain't well yet. What's your problem? He's just a kid. What you trying to do to him? Make a man out of him. What are you trying to do? Listen, I'll be upstairs. Just knock with the broom when you want me. We'll finish it later, huh, Eddie? This here's like trying to hold a private conversation in Grand Central. It's a disgrace. That's what it is. He's a tramp. And you're no better. Oh, Ma, tighten your valves, you blow a gasket. You're gonna wind up just like your old man. He followed every angle he could catch up to. The only decent thing he ever did in his life was to run out on me. And you're gonna wind up just like him and all good. Oh, but quite a lot, Ma. I, I ought to have my head examined the way I eat my heart out over you. You're nothing but a no good, and you'll never amount to a road. Oh, oh, oh. Ma, you're hot, Ma. Oh, dear, Eddie. Huh? Oh, oh, sit down, Ma. Dear. I get the, I get the oh. salts, Ma. Come on, come on, now. easy. Easy, Ma, take it easy. I'll eat my oatmeal. Oh. Yeah. Okay? Oh, Eddie, baby. Feel better, Ma? Huh? Eddie. Ma, your baby Eddie ain't no dumb head. So help me, I got it all figured. I had plenty of time to angle it out in Bellevue. No more small time stuff. Ma, I learned something from that lead pipe. I'm gonna make that shellac and pay off. Eddie. Is your head buzzing? What do you mean? You learned something from the lead pipe? Yeah, Ma. Oh. We're gonna have the whole schmear. Sure, baby. 
Sure. You don't believe me, do you, Ma? Sure, baby, I believe you. Oh, my poor baby. Your poor oh. baby nuts, Ma. Oh. Nuts. What Eddie Sofranic had in mind was basically a simple shakedown. He picked gas stations for his racket. The small independent stations organized mobs didn't bother with. He worked hard and signed up hundreds of them. It wasn't long before the money was rolling in. Don't you get scared being out here all alone by yourself, Pop? Scared? <laughs> what for? I ain't got nothing nobody want to steal. Well, I don't mean that. I mean, what if one of your customers comes in with a lit cigarette and boom, the whole place goes up in smoke? Or somebody learning to drive, they knock over one of your pumps. <laughs> no, no, that don't happen. I got very nice customers. I still think you ought to carry some kind of insurance. <laughs> no, I mean it. Because even one of your nice customers can get a little out of line. Take, for instance... What's the matter with you? You're crazy or something? Take it easy, Pop. What do you say? Cost you cheap. Oh. So you think you can come over here and shake me down, eh? Don't get mad at me, Pop. I just do what Johnny Lucky tells me, that's all. Johnny Lucky? Yeah. I don't think Johnny would like it if he knew you were turning me down. I mean, that's just funny advice. What do you say? I say no. No to you, to Johnny Lucky, big shot gangster, to everybody. And now you get off of my station or I'll call the police. Okay, Pop. Okay. Regards from Johnny Lucky. Tell me, Lucky, when did you start shaking down little independent gas stations? Look, I don't know why you brung me down here out of a sick bed for conversation. I don't know nothing about shaking down no gas stations. I'm strictly a legitimate businessman. You're talking to Reditsky, remember? We got a sheet on you as long as you're armed. Everything from policy to murder, right down the line. Now, wait a minute, you can't prove none of that. We know you sunk Bugsy Malloy and how many others, huh? <laughs> That's bourgeois. Look, why don't you close the window? There's a draft in here. Bigger draft coming out of your mouth. Look, I gotta go home. I'm starting to get You're a You're not going anywhere till I tell you. Look, I want to call my lawyer. The phones are out of order. What is this, the Spanish Inquisition or something? I suppose you never heard of slamming with a lead pipe, huh? Look, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't. It's your trademark. It's just as good as your fingerprints. Prove it! Get out of here. Goon that worked over Colucci with the lead pipe. That's our foot in the door. I wonder who he is. I wonder who he is. Hey, Eddie, come look. Oh. Yeah, you look great, Ma. <laughs> oh, but you shouldn't have done it, Eddie. So much money like it grows on trees. Easy pickings, Ma. You just... Shake it a little bit, and it falls right down out of the trees. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. And maybe we ought to start saving for a rainy day. This West End Avenue apartment and maid, everything's costing so much money. Ah, the whole thing's just like a moving picture, huh, Eddie? Mm-hmm. Just like a moving picture, Ma. The big shots are all moving over to Park Avenue, Ma. How'd you like to have a Park Avenue apartment, huh? Well, any Baby, Park Avenue address, who wouldn't want? <laughs> but, Eddie, uh, you think maybe the cops are getting on to you? Oh, for crying out loud, Ma, can't you get it through your head? If there's a beef, the cops go after Johnny Lucky, not me. That's Flory, answer it. I told you she's coming by. She wants to go to Cotton Club, so I'm taking So answer it already. Whoa. Huh. Yeah, I figured right. You can't do this to me, Eddie, and get away with it. What? You guys are all alike. The minute you got two bucks in your pocket, you want two girls. Well, I ain't taking it. See, you can't do it to me. What are you talking Anytime about? Anytime you want a chicken out on me, you just do it. I just don't like picking up the telephone and having your old lady doing your lying for you. You want to break your dates? You break them, not your old lady. 
Oh, Ma, you shouldn't have done it, Ma. I done it for your own good, Eddie. She ain't your type. You wait for the right kind of girl to come along. You listen to your mama. What do you mean I ain't his type? Uh, Why don't you tell that truth? You wouldn't let go of your baby when he had nothing but holes in his pockets. Yeah, now that he's in the rackets and he's got a pot, you're scared some chick's gonna come along and put you in the rumble seat. You want him? You got him. I'm walking out of here and you can both rot. Now listen. Shut God. up! But I'm giving you a piece of advice first. If you don't let him get married, his voice will never change. Yes, see, Eddie, I told you she's nothing but a no good loudmouth. My son can get married any time. Just as soon as he finds the right kind of girl. You're full of... You'll live to be sorry for this. But not long. Good riddance to bad rubbish, Eddie. Yeah, my good riddance. So nobody knows who's going around shaking down gas stations and using my name, huh? No, our guy's lucky. I checked right down the line. Somebody is trying to make a name for himself. Who'd have the nerve, Lucky? You think maybe the cops have tried to frame me? Well, you said it yourself, Lucky. The cops will do anything to grab you. Why don't you get out of here? Go visit that tomato you're always talking about. Now, go on, get out of here. Well, what do you want? I gotta talk to Johnny Lucky. Who told you there was a Johnny Lucky here? Same guy told me you were a jerk. Now, get out of the way. I gotta talk to Lucky. Let that dame in here and shut the door. Well, you want it in? Now talk fast. You, Johnny Lucky. I said talk fast. Yeah, okay, big shots. At least you smell prettier than most of them. You're no lady. Nobody's gonna mistake you for a gent. You mess me up and you'll be sorry. I came here to do you a favor. Like what? Yell copper? Shake me up for a fin? There's a punk operating a shakedown racket using your name. Arnie, give me a C-note. What is his name? Eddie Safranek. And you know what you can do with your C-note. Who is Eddie Safranek? Hey. Ain't that the joker we give the memory course to, Arnie? Yeah. You. The name's Flory. You got any ideas, forget him. Can you deliver this, uh... Eddie Safranek. Yeah, this Eddie Safranek. I didn't give you nothing for Christmas. You can have Eddie. You'll find him at 514 West End Avenue, apartment 7D. This, uh, Eddie, was your boyfriend? He crossed you? This is why you're putting the finger on him? Yeah. I was his chum. You gonna be sorry tomorrow? I was sorry yesterday. Well, what are you waiting for? You have to be told everything? Get over and get this, uh... Sofranic, 7D. Yeah, this time you sew his lips for keeps. Yeah, and hurry it up, boys. It's gonna be a real coming out party. I tip Raditsky, and he's on his way, too. You what? Sure, big shot. I had no insurance I could get to you. So I threw the whole deck in the air. I knew a couple of tricks would fall out. Smart girl like you deserves the better things in life. I'm listening. All right, you get over there. And if Raditsky don't get to him, you do. After the show, you report back. And uh, don't hurry. Honey, uh, how long you, uh, how long you known this, uh... Eddie Safranek. Yeah, Safranek. <laughs> oh, Eddie, baby, you claim the flower and you'll have my chum. What, what, what are you doing teaching me a scrummy game? Flowers, bamboos. That's for the birds, for crying out loud. Let's see what's in the ice box. <laughs> hey, that must be Flory. I knew she'd be back. Eddie, now listen. 
I can't go through all this again. I told you for the last time, she comes through that door, I go out. I'll take care of her. Well, who are you expecting, Santa Claus? What do you want? You mean you don't remember me? All those little chats we had a year or so ago when your little boy was in Bellevue. You got no right to come oh, barging come in. Come on now, you're repeating yourself. You said that the last time. Where is he? Huh? Huh? A little fire escape. My baby! You push him out the window! You want to act like a little kid in a closet? All right, I'll keep you locked in there. You get so skinny and crawl out through the cracks. Hey, you gonna do as I tell you? Max, hold him here like it downstairs in the right. basement, then drop him in my lap. Mm. Eddie! Eddie, are you all right? Eddie, can you hear me? This is Mama. Eddie, be careful, oh, honey. Quiet, our loud lady. Eddie, be quiet, will you? Hang on tight, honey. Be careful. Okay, Max, drop him. Can you hear me, honey? Eddie, watch it. Come on, sign it. I can't sign this. All it says is you will run a no shakedowns for Johnny Lucky. Now sign it. I'll buzz the DA. You get a nice break for it. How many times I gotta tell you guys I don't even know Johnny Lucky? What do we gotta do to make you believe us? We got witnesses who will swear you were working for Johnny Lucky. Hey, you think you're so smart. All right, I'll tell you. Just because you think you're both so smart. So tell us. I shook down the gas stations myself. I was smarter than Lucky. His mob worked me over, so I used his name and his trademark, a lead pipe. Smart, huh? Now, whatever I get, the witness got to give Johnny Lucky, too. What do you think of that? I like it just fine. You both will get what's coming to you. Only you're the lucky one, Eddie. You'll only get 10 to 20 for assault. Lucky will get the chair. Bring him in here, will you, Max? Hey, Eddie, you're finally growing up, I guess. You're going real good. Tell me, uh, what else do you know about Johnny and his mob? Well, you got me all wrong, Barney. I ain't no story. I ain't gonna tell you nothing. This little crumb? This cheap little punk, this is what's causing me all this trouble? Look, nobody, but nobody gets Johnny Lucky twice out of a sick bed and gets away with it. You caused me trouble, kid. Now, look, I got it right from your ex-chum. You and your mother, you've been using me. Hey, Eddie, aren't you glad you talked? I told you it hurt your mother. Talked? <laughs> talked? <laughs> well, you ain't gonna get nothing from this, from this punk, Ridditsky. He ain't even dry behind the ears. This mama's boy can't even untie an apron string. <laughs> well, you, you, you just wait. You just wait till I start talking about you, you and your mob, and Bugsy Morling and a cement mixer, and the East River, 116th Street. You ain't gonna do nothing to me and my mother, not. <laughs> Bug him, Max. All right, Eddie. Come on, tell me all about it, huh? Get it off your chest. Boy, you gotta understand. I, had, I, I wasn't part of the big mob. Believe me, Barney. I, I just used their name, that's all. You know, I did a little business. You understand, Barney? 
I mean, they had it coming. You know that. You know what they did to me, Barney? Huh? I mean, you know, it was... It started when I was working in the garage, you know? 